Hello and welcome viewers, I'm Hiral Dadia. Let's understand the commodity strategy for the day with Kunal Chah, Head Commodities Research at Nirmal Bank. Uh, Kunal, early day today as well, uh, the thought was that base metals is something which will see a bounce back and that's how it actually panned out. During the early hours of trade, we did see a bounce that did come in in terms of base metals. However, that has started cooling off right now. What should the strategy be? Uh, first of all, the events uh, which are going to affect the entire commodity mm. market in next two days. One is announcement of Trump uh, expected uh, that uh, Trump is going to come up with the payroll tax mm. cut to almost zero percent mm. for mm. for one year. So we have not seen any official announcement so far. So uh, I don't know whether it's going to come today, or tomorrow, but that is basically slightly supportive from the commodity sentimental point of view, and mm. that can lead to some risk on sentiment globally. And another major event is tomorrow we have an ECB meeting. So uh, I think it's the high time that ECB has to act and act very aggressively in order to prevent the sharp downfall in the economy. So these are the two events on which the commodity markets are going to revolt in next uh, one or two days. Uh, for the evening session, I particularly feel that metals, uh, the trend is going to be sell on rallies. Copper, one can go short around 428, 54.29. Stock loss should be placed at 432 and target should be uh, kept at 424 to 423.50 that kind of levels I'm expecting for the evening session. Okay, so that's copper uh, from the base metal pack. What's the sense that you're picking up with crude because last couple of trading sessions it's been a mayhem that we've seen on crude. We already touched lows of around $28 uh, on crude. From there, we did see a bounce back that did come into the tune of almost around 8 to 10 percent. Where do we go from here? Is it that there will be that recovery in terms of the quantum that we've lost in the last couple of trading sessions? I think uh, the oil war has started and uh, it, it seems that uh, more than the any fundamentals or anything, mm. it seems that uh, OPEC doesn't want US production to keep moving up. Mm. And uh, this move is deliberately uh, towards that area. So for example, if uh, Saudi Arabia produces uh, 2.25 million barrels more than what they have been producing and the other OPEC members also start pumping more oil, then I think what eventually will happen is U.S. shale oil production will start going off from the market. So as on today, U.S. Uh, shale oil and crude oil production stands at 13 million barrels per day, uh, risen from 9 million to 13 million, million barrels in last three years. And at the same time, the OPEC production has declined by more than 2.5, 3 million barrels per day. So now OPEC is clearly realizing that uh, the strategy is not working because if the production has, in order to keep up the prices, they are not the sole uh, hmm. stakeholders that which should continuously Continue. cut the production. So I think still it is going to be the sell on rise uh, for crude oil. I am not expecting any major up move in oil prices. 25, 30, 25, 40 good levels to go short again. Downside target should be kept at 24.50. And uh, I don't expect any recovery uh, going forward. 2600 should be the stop loss for the evening session. But sell on rallies is the view which I've, I think a trader should follow in the, in the market. And at the same time, when the tax cuts, uh, any announcement of tax cut officially coming from the Trump, you are going to see that risk of uh, risk on trade. So mm -hmm. at that time, you may see some sharp short covering. But the eventual trend is going to be uh, bearish. Eventual trend continues to remain uh, bearish in mm. terms of uh, crude as well. And very lastly, if you have to talk about gold, does that continue to be a safe haven or it's just already overbought now? Uh, it is safe haven, but uh, if you look like uh, what we've discussed, so if the central bankers are now aggressively acting in order to prevent this uh, slowdown or recessionary concerns which are developed over the last 15 days, then... Uh, we are going to see another round of massive liquidity being injected in the injected in the financial system mm. and hence uh, gold prices may be vulnerable for a little bit of profit taking so even though the underlying uh, trend is bullish but I think at this juncture seventeen hundred dollars for the time being look topish I'm not expecting that seventeen hundred will be taken off immediately until and unless things really worsen uh, as, as far as the like, coronavirus is concerned or anything else for that matter. But my, uh, for the short term view is $1,700 seems top to me and we are going to see some more profit taking and it may test levels of 1645 to 1640 on CME and those may be the good level to again re-enter long position. So, sell on rallies is a good uh, strategy for both.
Right, so sell on value on all mm. majority of the metals mm. that we're talking about. Thanks yes. for that. So that's the strategy with copper, crude as well as gold. Thanks for watching. Uh.